Hi, Sam with Reverie. Today we're going to show you the do's and don'ts of lifting a Reverie adjustable bed base. So if you need to move it, do any troubleshooting, or if you have any replacement parts to put on, this is how um, you lift an adjustable bed base. First to note is when you're lifting or moving the bed base, you do not want to lift it by these, these wooden deck boards that are on top. If you go to lift it, you'll see as I lift the foot, the lift motors just let it lift up, but the actual frame underneath is not lifting. Same thing with the head. If you try to lift from up there, the head will just lift up and the frame is still underneath. We want to make sure that we're lifting by the metal frame under here. So once you are, if you have a bed frame or anything like that and you get the base out of there, any lifting you do, you want to make sure you grab underneath there and then you lift, put it on its side. When it's on its side, you want to take any pressure off of these legs. We don't want to have a lot of weight on them because we don't want to cause any damage. From there, when it's on its side, you can either lean it up against the wall, or if you need to, you can put it completely upside down. So you can just lean it back, grab it by that frame, and set it down. And then from there, you can do any troubleshooting, put on any new uh, replacement parts, or you know, even if you're moving, you can store it this way as well. To put it back, same thing. Make sure you're lifting by that metal frame. Put it on its side. And go ahead and tip it back. And set it down gently. There you go.